Okay, so um, my next question is 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 going to be different uh, from it's going to be different from the normal interviews that other people um, have done. So I'm going to ask you guys a question, and 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 hopefully you guys can give me an honest answer. What has been the worst international butt whooping you have taken? International. Yes, international butt whipping. Someone from outside of this country. Oh, free for that. Um, Ada. Ada? Yeah, I played them. You know what I'm saying? It was pretty close. It was 2 1. You know what I'm saying? Last game, last round. I scooped him, right? Command throw. And I tried to do double roll, thinking he was going to DP. He just demon. <laughs> <laughs> and that takes a lot of guts, man. Not only that, but like he was, oh, he was OS. And for those that don't know, I was just like, I'm not able. To death, so I couldn't really do much about it. Can't can't do nothing about it. So when he demoned you, what what went through your mind at that moment? I just I just looked. I was like, wow, he did it. And then I just put the controller down, shook his hand like this. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what what level of sodium were you at? It wasn't sodium. It was just like okay. It was like he only had like two options. It was either throw me, DP. Teleporter demon, that's not two hours, that's four. But I'm saying, like, he could have done any anything else, but he demon. You just I, did it. And I died, yeah. Okay. And I'm out of evil, I'm afraid. Fifty dollars. No. <laughs> okay, so don't mean nothing, I'm just saying, like, you know, you gotta think about it like that. Alright, Safford, you? Um <laughs> hey, Evil 2K6, I um I'm gonna match Q Dogs from Korea. He's the best of any player there. Had a Rario who won Evil 2K7 and Tekken Dark Resurrection. When you match Q-Dons and Tekken Dark Resurrection, 0-6, and uh, 5 set. And beat you 5-zip? Yeah, because the reason why you only like that was because, and that's why the Devil Jin was that good. And, you know, he's saying, you know, demons. The Devil Jin has a move called Hell Sweeps. Uh-huh. Yeah. So, I didn't block it once, and I was Pringles. I was not blocking my legs. I took me to the wall every time in all my life. But I was just watching like, wow, can't win around. It's three rounds in the game. Can't win around. Did Did you feel at any point to actually? Did you feel at any point that you actually wanted to ask him? Could you please get around? Well, it got so bad. He was up three zip. I was like. So like, who was this matchup? Like, I was like asking the random questions. <laughs> in the middle of the tournament. And a buddy match, cause I was like, yo, uh -oh. what do I do right now? I can't, I can't do anything. And he was like, buddy, 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 cause you know he don't speak English. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, buddy, 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 twenty dollar, right? Twenty dollar. I'm like, yeah. He's like, okay, okay. He beat me, took his money, and left. I was like, <laughs> yes. <Yeah. laughs> All right. Good games, man. Good games. He was like, yeah. Um. <clears throat> okay, we're gonna bring up a, a, a question. What? What do you? How do you? The, the the behavior of the United States competitive scene. Do you think it's? Do you think that it's a it's a little bit overbearing for the international players to be here? Honestly. I don't think Street Fighter hype is that bad. It's more like that's like OP. Because Street Fighter hype is like a toned down version of Ball Hype. And if they can't handle that kind of hype, they can't handle Ball Hype. Honestly, I feel they don't play Marvel because they're afraid of the hype. They're afraid that they're going to get old because they can't handle the hype. When Daigo came over here and he was playing under pressure and everybody was cheering on Marn and Andre and Jago when they were playing him, he Looked like he was thrown off of his team. You know, it's, and he complained to Issei, who was from Japan, that all Americans were being too loud and, you know, he can play under the, those circumstances, which I kind of understand, but he has to realize that he's on an unfriendly territory and he has to focus and channel out and play his game and not make excuses for his losses. You know, people lose. I make excuses too, but in the ultimate end, I can't make an excuse because I lost. That L is in my chest. There's nothing I can do about that. I gotta just hold it and look forward to the next fight. Uh, and your thoughts on that, Yipes? I can't say nothing else. That's straight down the bottom line right there. Like, All right. Let me give you an example. Since he's beaten us, I lost to Damon Hyatt. I've beaten him more times than he's beaten me in tournaments, but you know what? He beat him when he counted. I lost. 
to meet one losers took seventh place with Justin. Me and Justin took seventh place. This year I lost to Sand Thrax. Last year he lost to my Sand Thrax. But you know what the funny thing about that is we got the same place. And I got first and second. I got first last year, he got second last year to me. And the irony is was that he lost to MSP this year. And I lost to Sand Thrax this year. And every other time, sees beans. I lose the MSP and he loses the same threat. So it goes up in reverse. It's funny. See speeds. Uh, now there are videos uh, posted up by Team Spooky of the madness going on at Seasons Beatings. Um, if you could rate the hype level of all the Seasons Beatings, which Seasons Beatings would be your number one? We'll start with you, Yards. In terms of hype? In terms of hype. Um, I could say this one, but... Like when it was really hype, it wasn't as packed, but it was hype. It was uh, Daigo vs. Justin. Last year, 2009. Yeah. That was hype. All right. Daigo so, was chucking some plasma. That score was hype. The score was hype, but the show was hype. It was great. What was the score? 10-2 with Daigo. 10-2? I thought it was 10-4. He didn't get four. 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 This year? Well, which oh, one you thought was it? Yeah. Um, honestly, I like Seasons Beatings too. When me, Yipes, and Justin played the Triple Threat, that was really hype. Yeah, that was, that was, uh, see, I didn't want to answer that question. There's too many yeah, yeah, yeah. That was really hype. And Yipes versus Justin at Seasons Beatings 2 was got away too. In, the, in, in, in one's bracket. And Yipes made the storm side when I come back. Um, so that was hype. That whole I look for the hype, I look for the competition. That's why, that's why I play, man. That's why I got brothers like this, because it keep me on my toes, man. You know, I got good players to play around. That's why I'm as good as I am. I'm never going to be as good as I want to be if I'm not playing people that are good, too. That's just the way it is. All right. Uh, my last question. Marvel vs. Capcom 3. <clears throat> what, what if Marvel 3 takes on the same hype and draw that Street Fighter 4 has done for the Street Fighter franchises and brings the world in on the game. How would you feel about that? That would be great. That would just be more longevity for that game, you know what I'm saying? It's going to... I just got to wait, man. Wait and see. I can't call it. It's going to be great, though. You just want to kill people. Yeah, I enjoy it. I enjoy other people's misery. I just love Magnus. <laughs> it's just about Magneto, isn't it? Yeah, and, and, and with co-stars. Oh, or Mag <laughs> Magneto and his entourage. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right, guys. Thank you for your time. So you want to give any... We're going to leave the last minute to give any um, kind words to any friends out um, there. Let's see, big shout out to Empire Arcade, of course. The art. Shout out to, uh, to Raw Gameplay. Mm -hmm. I can say the cliche, you know, my neighborhood. Yeah, we gonna keep yeah. it clean. Shout out to Juice Box. Oh yeah, Juice Box house down. Yep. You want team tournament? Oh okay. You guys wanna um, put out Juice Box's um, interview that he had? Or what type? What was the website? What that? Oh, Borderline Gaming. I think dot com. Right? Yeah, BLG dot com. BorderlineGaming.com, BLG.com. Yeah. You can find Juicebox's interview. Very insightful uh, for um, people who are trying to get into Street Fighter 4. That's a great um, interview you can watch. And um, he pretty much breaks it down for everyone in a very streamlined manner. Not too difficult to understand. And shout outs to the West Coast, specifically uh, Fnatic, Neo, and Schmidt, because like, they was the only ones repping the West coming out here. And like Combo Fiend, of course, and Mike Rose, but they wasn't really focused on that game. You know what I mean? So, shout out to that for holding out these state. That's for sure, for sure. Shout out to the Filipino champ. It's the Filipino champ, of course. Ever. Okay. Um, that's it.